I want to ask you a more personal question. Let's say if you were 25 years old, you were sitting out of India, let's say you're an engineer by training, and you're seeing all of this happen. You're seeing all these new models come out. You're also seeing the ambiguity that you and everyone else are facing, right? How would you tackle that? How would you upskill if you were young again? Oh, that's a great one. It's, you know, in fact, the way I think um, one has to deal with both the pace and the scale of innovation is to be very good at sampling with agility, is what I describe it like. So that means, for example, the guidance I give ourselves as a company is, keep on the frontier and be ready for the next drop. So experiment? The, yeah, not, not experiment, but it's kind of like, you want to work in multiple gears. So you're all the time sort of looking at what's coming and saying, what is the impossible thing that I can make possible with what's coming? while I am then making what I built yesterday optimal, optimized for COGS, for latency, for deployment. So that two gears, you have to simultaneously work on it. So it's, I mean, experimentation is obviously part of it, but that you, you can't say, oh, I'm gonna build this and then I'll go to next. You're simultaneously working with some frontier thing where you're making something that is impossible today, more possible because of what's coming, while you're optimizing. That I think is the way, at least as a software developer, you have to sort of work in this age of AI.